Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities, futures, and cryptocurrencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. There's a free trial for 14 days. comes with education, the Bookmap educational course, and then the daily uh, live uh, order flow advanced analysis webinars that support the content in that educational course. So learn about it and then follow up every day uh, to learn in the live markets uh, the same uh, uh, content that backs up. We back up the same content here in that course. Okay, there's other resources as well, and you can always reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Okay, uh, let's go to bookmap.com and take a quick look. A lot of changes coming. So um, uh, I think the website's going to be updated as well. Uh, but uh, let's take a quick look here and scroll down. Uh, intro video about Bookmap, just a couple minutes long. It goes through some uh, some basics here. Uh, and then um, uh, about Bookmap, okay, just uh, understand the kind of overall uh, what's going on with Bookmap, some testimonials. There's Bookmap for equities um, through the dev experts. Okay, that you get NASDAQ total view. Okay, it's all the U.S. equities. It's not just NASDAQ. Uh, it's the uh, New York Stock Exchange as well. Uh, a little bit further down, connectivity. Uh, okay, so this is important. Uh, we are a software platform, not a data provider. So you can connect via all these different um, uh, ways uh, uh, here or data providers here. Uh, note that uh, there are a few platforms in here like TT, uh, XTrader Pro, NinjaTrader, and Trader uh, Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. Okay, we connect via the API uh, of these platforms, but we are a platform as they are. So you can connect Bookmap just directly using CQG, Rhythmic, Gain, IQ Feed, Transact, and, uh, and Dev Experts for that NASDAQ total view. Okay, a little bit further down, here's the 14 day trial period I mentioned. Uh, there's Bookmap Basic, 40, 49 per month build quarterly, Bookmap Advanced, a 99 per month build quarterly, uh, and then Bookmap uh, for quants. Okay, and the quants we have, we need to work with you on special um, uh, features that you're going to have. So you you'll need to kind of reach out to us and, and find out more. Um, you know you're going to want to connect to your own data, proprietary indicators, etc. Uh, but um, uh, for a uh, majority of people here, uh, Bookmap Basic or Advanced uh, is the way to go. And the um, difference between the two are the add-on features uh, that we offer. Uh, one being the one-click trading that you can trade right from the Bookmap chart. Okay, and then we have these proprietary indicators that uh, read the order flow for, for example, the volume and book imbalance, uh, correlation tracker. And then specifically as well, um, not only reading the order flow and the liquidity, but starting to read specific players. Okay, so the large lot tracker identifies uh, larger players who uh, are holding the majority of liquidity at specific price levels. Okay, so if you have any questions, let me know. I, I can go over uh, this, uh, as well as another one that uh, starts to identify specific larger players with the iceberg detector. Okay, we have the uh, uh, this indicator that will show uh, where larger players are using iceberg orders uh, and getting filled. Okay, uh, let's see here. If you're new uh, here, uh, you can also follow us on Twitter at bookmap underscore pro. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube page uh, and um, uh, maybe watch some of these intro videos to begin with. And some of the features and components here in this playlist, you can just click on the playlist um, title. That'll take you right to the page. Uh, and then the um, uh, order flow video snippets. Okay, uh, This is more of what we go through in the advanced webinar. Uh, this, these are just the con concepts uh, kind of distilled down into a very concise video. Uh, but we go over in detail in the uh, advanced order flow webinars. All right. Well, let's, let's jump into Bookmap uh, and take a look here. Actually, uh, we had oil inventories. So this is not Bookmap here. Uh, this is uh, just um, a regular candlestick chart. Just looking at a kind of bigger view here on larger, you know, higher time frames. I uh, had the oil inventory, so I was uh, curious on that. Uh, and let's jump into um, into Bookmap. Okay. 
All right, well, here's uh, the result of that oil inventory, okay? Uh, we can see here. Uh, and um, uh, just a few things that I want to point out here. Um, really interesting stuff to see uh, in Bookmap because, uh, you know, here's a uh, liquidity. Okay, this is the colored heat map with version 7 that uh, I'm demoing here. So this is currently not available, but it will be in about a week. Uh, and look how they're starting to pull liquidity before the 1030 uh, numbers here. Okay, And uh, as you can see it here in these areas. They're starting to pull liquidity. Uh, and, um, uh, they, you know, this, this is why you always get volatility uh, during these fundamental releases because we don't know uh, what the numbers are going to be. Uh, and you can see that, uh, uh, you know, like this sweep of the book right here, well, it doesn't take much volume to sweep the book if there's not, not much liquidity. Okay, so let's just zoom in right here. Uh, and here's, here's the sweep of the book, okay? Beautiful sweep of the book, uh, nothing but selling, okay? Hitting the bid, taking liquidity at each price level down into these levels here. And now we're starting to find players, okay? We're starting to find higher liquidity down here. Okay, these guys wanted to trade. They stayed in the book, okay, and they started to trade, okay. This is absorbing all of the selling here. Okay, it's going lower, and, and uh, sellers are, are are pushing through these areas because they have more selling power than uh, the the limit orders here on the uh, on the buy on the bid. Uh, but uh, we start to dry up though, okay. So look at the selling down in these areas. Okay. So that means that, uh, you know, selling pressure, like it's taking a break right now. Uh, it needs to, needs to kind of go sideways and see if there's more sellers or maybe buyers will come into the, uh, into the market and trade right back up into these areas here. Okay. Well, you can see what happened. Uh, there was actually a, a high liquidity on both sides here. Okay. And, um, and then you can see that uh, we trade into this area here uh, and uh, buyers just don't have enough pressure here. Uh, sellers come back in, uh, and uh, and we go lower. Okay, and uh, where where are we going to? Well, we're gonna we're gonna come down into areas of high liquidity. Okay, market needs liquidity to trade. That's just how it is. Uh, it's just like an auction, uh, and um, uh, we're trading into some of these lower areas here. Okay, so anyway, I just wanted to go through some a, a quick uh, few concepts: sweeping of the book, uh, lack of liquidity, uh, where it's trading with liquidity. Uh, Etc. Uh, these are some of the things we go through in the um, advanced uh, order flow webinars uh, in in a lot of detail. Okay, uh, but anyway, uh, for those of you who are new here, so you know, let's just go through some of the basics, all right, of uh, of what Bookmap uh, is showing you here, uh, so you can understand it, and then secondly, uh, how you can uh, how you can use it uh, to gain an advantage uh, in your trading. Okay, so um, first, uh, let's uh, let's go through the what the elements are here on the chart. Okay, it's uh, pretty pretty uh, pretty straightforward data to be honest. Uh, in fact, I need to take some of this off. I don't want to show any indicators at the moment. Okay, there are some add-on indicators that uh, you know are part of that advanced version, uh, and I, I don't want to show that right now. I just want to show the three elements that you get here. Okay. Uh, and uh, it's really straightforward data. Uh, it looks like it's really complex. It's not. The first element that we're showing here is just historical best bid and offer. Okay, this is the current market over here with best bid and offer to the to the right of this vertical white line. Uh, but uh, all of this area here is historical. Okay, this is what happened, uh, and um, uh, we're recording uh, and showing that uh, historical best bid and offer. Okay, it's uh, the, the red and green lines here. Now, you also see all these dots here uh, that uh, occurred on the historical best bid and offer. Um, that's that's a, a market buy and sell orders. Okay, it's the volume that traded there uh, at these levels. Okay, so that's the second element is the, the volume. And um, the, th the third element, the final element here on the chart uh, is the liquidity heat map. And, and what is that? Okay, what we're showing with the liquidity heat map is uh, areas of um, uh, where they were bidding and offering in the book. So we're taking data from the dome, okay, uh, recording it and projecting it onto the chart. Okay, so you can see that these are areas where uh, price didn't trade in, in, until just now, 
up at 63.40, as we can see, we just traded into this level. Uh, but there were there were sellers up here, and we can actually start to read their behavior too. Look how they were adding into the book, pulling, adding back in, pulling, and then adding back in. All right, uh, and um, you know, it looks like uh, they stayed in the book here uh, and wanted to trade uh, up at this level at uh, at 40. Okay. We can make a distinction with that though as well. And we can see if this was real liquidity or not. Okay, and we can just zoom in here and we can see exactly what traded here. Okay, we can use this rollover tool. 195 contracts or 275 contracts here, and it traded right into it, right into this area of high liquidity. So did these guys want to trade here that were on the offer uh, up at this uh, 6340? Answer is, is definitive, uh, yes. Okay. They, they stayed in the book and they traded, okay? And um, uh, and they stayed in here. Well, they started to pull some, but um, uh, you can see that uh, at this price level, 372 contracts traded, all right? So a little bit of pulling here as well as uh, it trading, okay? There's, there's both going on here. Okay, uh, anyway. Uh, to understand some of these details, let me uh, let me just take a step back here uh, and uh, let's compare it now. These three elements and, and how to put these pieces together. Okay, let's put on that candlestick chart and we'll take off everything else. Okay, and my candlesticks. You can see that this is a new feature in um, uh, 6.0 actually, or 6.1. You can see the VWAP on these, um, uh, on, on the um, on the bid, the offer, and overall on the candlestick. Okay, so it's a, a new feature. Uh, let's uh, let me just uh, disable it for now. It's just going to be distracting. Okay, uh, Edson. Um, uh, Bookmap uh, seven will be uh, will it be available in about a week? Okay, so keep an eye out here. All right. Well, here we go. Here's our candlestick chart. Okay, so um, and we do have we we also have a volume sub chart here. Okay, so this is the the view that most of us are very accustomed to. Um, and um, uh, let me let me just show you like why this view uh, really lacks a lot of transparency and how Bookmap um, offers that transparency to you, okay? Uh, well, the first thing is, is that these are bars, okay? So this is aggregated data. Uh, it's on a five minute period of aggregation in open, high, low, and close. It's only four points within this five minute period. That's all we're getting. And um, uh, that's a problem because uh, uh, we we want to understand all sorts of microstructural areas here. We want to understand how the volume and the auction behaved in those little areas as well. Uh, and right now we're not uh, we're not seeing any of that. Okay. For example, um, uh, you know where did the volume trade on this? Uh, we don't know. Uh, so I'll, I'll I'll turn on the volume dots in just a minute. Uh, but let's just turn on the historical best bid and offer. Uh, and you can see like how this is an advantage just just uh, with this, uh, because we're we're able to understand now microstructural areas. Okay, so down in this area here, okay, let's zoom into it. All right, well this is what occurred. All right, so we actually saw it earlier. I was covering it at these um, inventories. Uh, we saw the move down. Okay, a little bit of uh, sideways action. Okay, there was some absorption. Remember uh, in this area, that's why this occurred. Uh, but um, uh, anyway, um, so we got a little structural area broke down below it again. So we're bearish. Okay, another structure, and uh, and then we see a break of it right here. But this is a break of that microstructure into back up into this this little area here. Okay, and it's going to be the like uh, uh, there's going to be some volume in here, and we, we trade back up into it, and we find more or lack of buyers uh, or uh, you know more sellers. Okay. Now, just understanding the microstructure is helping us. Okay. Uh, let's turn on the volume dots, though, and we'll really see what's occurring here. Okay. And then we'll we'll turn on ultimately the um, the heat map and really see 
uh, where they're bidding and offering. Okay, so the, the volume dots here. All right, well, well, we can understand some of these levels now a little bit better because what, what we're seeing, and, and this is that five minute period between this candle right here, okay, and then there's one minute, two minute, three minute, four minutes. Or is that right? What am I looking at here? Hold, hold on a minute here. Yeah, no, okay. Let's uh, we, uh, go back to my candlestick. I'm looking at one minute bars here. Let's go to five minute. Actually, let's go back to one minute. I think that is better for this for this uh, for this demo. There we go. So within this one minute period, this is just one minute. We're looking at um, uh, you know seconds here, uh, ten seconds uh, between each each vertical dotted line here. Right, we're getting into some of these micro levels here already, uh, but um, uh, within this minute, this is all the action that took place. Uh, now, obviously, it's a you know a release, fundamental release, and uh, all sorts of things are going on here. Uh, but we're still getting understanding of who's in control, uh, where are points of exhaustion, uh, where the microstructure is broken, and you can see them like hitting the bid here with the uh, aggressive volume. Okay, we, we can we can read the volume dots. Okay, look at look at the uh, the aggressive volume here. Okay, so let's zoom into that area and let's just show uh, really what bookmap is is displaying here. Okay, so here's your historical best bid and offer. Red line historical best offer, best bid is green, and then you see these dots. These are the transactions. This is the second element. Uh, first is that uh, these two two lines. Second element are the uh, are the dots and the volume. So a red dot is an aggressive market sell. Someone hit the market sell button, or many traders did maybe, uh, and uh, they're driving price lower. They're hitting the bid. Green is aggressive market buy. They're lifting the offer. They're paying up. They're taking um, liquidity off of the best offer here uh, and willing to pay the spread. Okay, That's why it's aggressive. Okay, They're not willing to wait in the book and, uh, and trade at a specific level. In fact, uh, they don't want to wait at all. They just want in the market. Uh, and um, so that's what we're looking at here. But, um, you know, we can uh, we can zoom into these levels here. In fact, let me zoom into this little level here because uh, I want to show the aggregation. All right. A little bit of uh, 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 latency here. Uh, so we'll just zoom into this level. All right. So so here's uh, actually trade uh, that took place, volume of 30. Um, but uh, there's probably other. Uh, it might be one event. In fact, let me add a new column here, and we'll turn it into a trades counter. It's actually two events here. All right, so uh, watch how as I continue to zoom in here. Okay, and we'll break this into okay one event now. Okay, so no, I'm sorry, it was one event for uh, for volume of 30. All right, but as I zoom back out. Okay, now we were we were down at uh, nanosecond level, but as I zoom back out, okay, what we you can see how uh, all these different trades come in here, and um, uh, and I continue to zoom out. What what happens is, is that we're showing every single market event here, but then we start to aggregate it just graphically and visually into a bigger dot, uh, and you can see that uh, there's a pie display of both buying and selling, but the majority of this was was buying actually, which is funny. Uh, to see at this uh, this lower level, um, but um, the um, so you can see and get an understanding of who's in control by the size of the dot, the color, uh, where it's trading, uh, and um, and how much. Okay. All right. So those are the two elements uh, there. Let's go to that third element. Okay, and we'll go back to the uh, current market for that. Now we're looking at the dome here uh, over to the right of the uh, uh, vertical white line. So his, here's, here's the current best bid and offer. This number here is the last traded volume. Here's our price ladder. And then here's our, um, our, our dome, our current order book. Okay. Liquidity here on the, uh, on the offer, liquidity here on the bid. And that's what, uh, that's what we're showing. All right. And uh, we can see that, um, uh, th uh, this is a really, really good view because uh, we can see where they're lining up in the auction. Problem with this view 
is that uh, we, we, when these numbers change, and they're changing all the time, especially in this algorithmically dominated market, um, you know, things change very, very quickly, and we don't have a record. Uh, we don't understand what occurred at that level previously, um, you know, how they're behaving in front of it or behind it. Uh, what about on the other side, on the bid? How are they behaving? All of that is um, uh, really tough to and, and mentally uh, taxing uh, to uh, to follow uh, in a dome, okay? And that's where Bookmap can help you because we record it. So if I turn on the heat map, here we go. So we take these numbers here and in this window here, okay, this is, like I said, this is the current market. So we can see that when these numbers change, you'll see the heat map change. And... Um, so note they just jumped in here with 138 and then they pulled, okay? So we just recorded that. Uh, and uh, uh, this is current market and then it's recorded and then plotted onto the chart here. So now we can start to understand these levels here. Look at this player here. We can, we can understand not only the liquidity but the specific players pulled liquidity and then a few moments later added it a little higher. Okay, now he just pulled and added it even higher up here. Okay, did you see that? Right. This is where it can be really helpful is like starting to understand the traded volume and the auction together. Okay. So uh, at the moment, this is bullish because they're pulling and adding higher. Okay. And, and we see that the buyers are in control here. Okay. So it looks like uh, we want to come up and test these higher levels of liquidity. Okay. We, uh, we, we need to see them, uh, you know, lift the, uh, lift the offer though. Okay. But uh, the buying looks good here. But you know, this let's take a let's take a, a bigger step back and uh, overall picture now uh, of this of this uh, uh, price activity. Okay, so this is important because uh, you know we might we might move up here a few ticks, uh, but we want to get the overall shape uh, of what's going on here. So let's take off the candlesticks, all right, and uh, and take a look at uh, what's going on here in price. Okay, well, I mean, this is where the sellers are. Uh, and uh, let's look at these buyers here. Okay, uh, well, look, it looked pretty good here. They started to buy. Uh, they're still they're still interested. So we might get a quick spike up into uh, this 36 area here. Okay, we went up to 34, so a couple ticks away. There we go, there's 35. Okay, now this guy just pulled at 36. All right, so uh, he he did, did we can answer a lot, all sorts of questions here. Did he really wanna trade up here? And the answer is no. Okay, and we can note his behavior here as well. Look at him pulling, adding higher. Okay, now we're seeing a little bit of algorithmic activity within here, a few ticks lower. Okay, getting very aggressive here as they're as they're you know jumping into the book here. Okay, and then look at them jump in here now at 24. Okay, and uh, the market uh, we didn't find the buyers uh, uh, to take this further further to the upside. Okay, so uh, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, starting to understand these these areas here, uh, and uh, we didn't get quite to 36, but we, we came one tick away from it, uh, and then they pulled, and we saw a little bit of uh, kind of uh, you know algorithmic behavior here uh, that uh, skewed the book, uh, and uh, uh, now now we're coming back down to test the um, uh, you know this the 6320, okay, and let's see if these guys mean business now, all right. This is where we originally broke from too. You can see, okay, uh, and um, you see all, all the aggressive buying coming in, uh, taking price higher. So these guys, you know, 290 contracts down here at uh, 63.20. Okay, we'll see if the uh, if the buyers are. Um, 
or if the sellers want to take these guys on here. Now, it's, now look at them. Now we have 338 contracts down here. Large lot tracker showing that about 20% of it is uh, one individual actor. Okay, now look at them bid it up here at, at 26. Okay. So they want to be higher, they want to be buyers at a higher level. That's pretty bullish, bullish behavior in the book. We need to see though if these guys are, you know, for real or not. And we don't know that. Okay, we might come down and test them, and we need to see if this is higher liquidity that wants to stay in the book. We we can make that distinction. We made that distinction up here. Okay, that, that no, this guy really didn't want to trade up here. Anyway, all sorts of different things to uh, to look at and uh, understand uh, and uh, add into your method of trading is just understanding uh, this very objective data here, where they're trading, how much, when. Um, and um, what type uh, of trader, uh, who's in control with the trading, uh, and then uh, in the auction. Okay, so you know it's not uh, it's not rocket science. Uh, it's just the market, uh, and we're just giving a very very clear view of that market and showing you where they're bidding and offering, uh, and where they're transacting, uh, and and putting that all together within all of the uh, this, this microstructure as well. Okay. And uh, that's the basics of uh, a book map. All right. So if uh, you're in the uh, in trial um, or current customer, then uh, jump over to the next uh, next webinar and uh, we'll, we'll see you over there. Okay. All right, guys. Have a good day. Take care.